When it comes to brake issues like pulsation, judder, or premature wear, only replacing rotors or changing pad brands isn't the solution. These actions might mask the problem temporarily, but they don't address the root cause. Let's dive into what's really happening with these brake issues and how to properly diagnose them. New pads and rotors may solve problems when the original parts are below specifications, but they don't fix the underlying reasons behind why those parts fell below spec in the first place. The main culprit behind pulsation problems is variation in disc thickness or parallelism, also known as disc thickness variation or DTV. Rotors are designed with two friction surfaces that should be parallel within a set specification. When the parallelism is off or there's variation in disc thickness, it can cause pulsation problems. This results in areas where hydraulic pressure drops as they pass by the caliper. This can also affect braking distances. Lateral brake runout is another issue where the rotor wobbles from side to side when spinning. Lateral runout will cause the rotor to contact the brake pads, knocking them back as the high spot of the runout contacts the pads. This allows more pedal travel before the pad surface makes contact with the rotor. Judder, on the other hand, is a vibration felt in the seat or steering wheel, but doesn't usually cause pedal pulsation. It can occur in a vehicle with zero runout or DTV and is caused by brake torque variation, BTV, which occurs when there's inconsistent torque across the rotor face and causes the rotor to slip and catch as brake pads pinch the rotor. This can be due to uneven rotor finish, metallurgy, or deposits from friction material. Understanding the difference between pulsation, DTV, and judder, BTV, is essential for solving brake complaints. Different types of brake pads interact with rotors in various ways. Semi-metallic pads use abrasive action, while ceramic and some NAO pads transfer a thin layer of material onto the rotor surface. This transfer layer is crucial for certain pad types and requires the correct rotor surface finish and brake in procedure. When diagnosing brake issues, listening to the customer is key. Ask them, what differences have you noticed in your brakes recently? This opens up a conversation about how the brakes feel, sound, and perform. Follow-up questions like, is it happening all the time, or when did you notice it, can provide more valuable information. By gathering this information, technicians should know four key things. If there's a pulsation or judder, where it's coming from, when it occurs, and if there's a noise problem. Remember, when a customer says their rotors are warped, it's a diagnosis, not an observation or symptom. This is why asking them when and where a vibration is felt is critical to the diagnostic process. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.